All right, you guys, here's uh, my latest uh, adventure that I'm doing, plumbing. Uh, so what I did, these things have to have a hole cut out in them. Uh, they have to be glued and uh, you have to drill a hole in there. So basically you gotta center the sink over the doors where the two doors meet, right there, there's no doors. And then that would be your center line. And then you go in line with that and, and you, you put one line this way uh, make sure you always have the backsplash in installed because that you got to have the right dimension between them. If this is not installed, you may make a mistake and put it way back the faucet. Okay, so make sure the backsplash is installed. And then, like I said, your doors will determine whether this door and that door meet. That'll be your center line. Uh, same thing here. See what we did. We pull the straight center line. You can't see it, but it's in there. And it goes back to the sink, to the faucet. You, you make sure you got your backsplash in and you make sure that basically you drill a hole just big enough, not too big, where it slides through. So you gotta have those dimensions right. This one, now, then you glue the, the sink. The way I found that it's best to do, when you do something like that, make the hole around here bigger. But just big enough because what happened in this situation um, we had to cut out quite a bit here if you can see we had to make a cut out there because you want you want the rubber and you want to be able to access this nut right here let me see if I can so that nut right there so you can tighten it and loosen it and then what we did is just ran the lines out this one is for the AC upstairs this hose will be changed because it's not the right size, but all these we had to put in. And what I do is I put Teflon tape around every joint. This one's like more difficult to put because those two pipes have to be put together. And in order to get Teflon tape around this whole joint, uh, it's tough. So you almost have to have two people holding it uh, together and then you have to cut your roll of uh, Teflon tape small enough to get through this little section here. So that way you could go all the way around, you know what I mean? So anyways, this is uh, Plumbing 101. Leave a comment and tell me what you think. We're painting this uh, trim now. And uh, so uh, doing trim and baseboards. Alrighty then. Here we go. So this one's not done. This uh, sink, this is a sink upside down with the piece in it. And you always gotta cut just enough, remember? So here's the, here's a sample of what we did, where the doors are. You can see you'll have to have a few extensions in there, but that's what we lined up here. See that? This is how we did the uh, the plumbing here. So same thing, what I meant when I said put the two cabinet doors together and you can see that line has to line up with the center of the faucet and the sink. And so you pull your, you get a square, go up, make your line in the, through there before the sink's on. And so I like to cut the holes first Oh, first mark it up, cut the holes, and then uh, glue the sink. At the right place, leave the sink, let it glue, let it stay uh, until it hardens, and uh, then you can install your faucet. But the reason for that is because when, if your sink is not glued, what happens is uh, you, it'll be moving around and then it'll be hard to get your pipes exactly where you want them because they'll move around. So here's the other one. Same thing. It's got some dust on them because the painter's here. But yeah, same thing. Okay, uh, leave uh, comments, questions. Please subscribe and hit the bell because uh, we're doing all kinds of projects and I'd like to share what I've learned, my expertise with you guys. Have any comments or questions or concerns? Thank you and you have a wonderful day.